What's up everybody? It's Greg. That's me. I've decided to use my phone for a camera because my eye, my Mac, sorry, my MacBook has a crappy camera. I've come to the conclusion. I got it in 2012 and it's just like a blurry camera. I look at my phone. I'm looking at the image right now. I look beautiful. What are you gonna do? It's very clear. It's clear that I'm beautiful. So I don't know that I'm gonna use my MacBook anymore. Maybe I'll just use my phone for the podcast and everything else because it's super clear. I don't know why I'm using my MacBook. It's my Mac. I need a new MacBook or a new camera or something. Got to figure that out. But today I am going to show off my salmon refractors. Everybody loves refractors. They're shiny, they're colorful, like a rainbow, a little mini rainbow inside your hands and it just spreads. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I have all my salmon refractors at the beginning of my box, my little wooden box over there, because I love refractors. I do the same thing with my Frank Thomas refractors. I put them in the front so that I can look at them because I always wanna look at refractors, who doesn't? Um, so we're going to start off with the best refractor. Um, I think that's unanimous. The 1993 Finest Refractor. Dun, dun, dun. It's a beauty. This is the raw one, obviously. Nothing there. Um, but real quick... While I'm talking about those, I will show you that I have a PSA 9 as well. Very cool. Graded. One just went for 159 on eBay. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but I don't think it was 159 So, yay for me. Next up is the 94 Bowman Best. These, the shine is a little harder to see. It's there, obviously. Um, they're okay. These were notorious for the, the fading, the hulking, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, this one's not too bad. Um, but you can see it is a little faded. Next up is another cool card, the 94 Finest Refractor. I like these a lot. Um, not as much as the 93s, but they are still cool. Um, I don't have the Frank. Would like to get that one. I actually have two of the, the 94 Salmons. Then we have the 95 Bowman Best. I like these. I do like these. I showed off my Nomar yesterday. Um, these are very cool. Great design. Um, fades a little with the hulking issue, but for the most part, my salmon is pretty in decent, is in decent condition, I'd say. I love, 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 love these, but the fading and the hulking is horrible on these. I have not found a salmon that's not all jacked up on his uniform. His pants are like two different colors. One of them is like a white. Another is like an opaque. And it sucks and bothers me so much. My OCD goes insane on this. But I can't find a better one. I can't find anything. Um, even the Franks I've looked at have have similar issues. I think all of the cards do. There may be one or two that don't, but for the most part, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, next is the 96 Bowman Best Best Cuts Refractor. Very cool die cut refractor. They actually have the base, the refractor, and the atomic refractor. And then I learned that there is an uncut version which is basically like the atomic refractor. Um, but there's no die cut as you can see. 
So this was like a proof type situation. I came across it. It was cheap. Obviously, it's salmon. It's always cheap. So I bought it. And we got the 96 Bowman Best. This is the preview. The regular refractors, the preview and the regular refractors are hard to differentiate. The only way you can do that is by the BBP, Bowman's Best Preview. It's the only way to really know, from what I gather, to, to figure out the difference between the two. Now the, um, well, this is the, the regular. This is number nine, number nine, as you can see, from the regular set. I don't really, oops, I don't really see a difference. I don't know, maybe you guys can see a difference and let me know. Is this one more colorful, maybe? A little more rainbowy. I don't know. I don't really see a difference, honestly. The atomics, however, you can tell a difference. As you'll notice, this has kind of got like a raindrop sparkle to it, I guess you could say. And this is the preview atomic refractor. This is how I can spot um, if it's a preview atomic or not because of that little sparkle feature right there, which is different than the base, the actual atomic refractor. You can see a big difference here. Um, way different shine on these. This is the atomic for the the base. These sell a little higher, all the base do versus the previews. People seem to not want the previews as much as the the actual set, the base set, um, which is understandable. One of my favorite sets here is the 96 Finest. I love, love this set. I've talked about it for numerous reasons. Um, remember opening these up with my grandpa pulled a gold refractor Karim Garcia freaked out freaked out at the store freaked out with my grandpa he didn't know what was going on I barely knew what was going on Karim Garcia didn't know what was going on um, but we all had a good time that was cool would have definitely freaked out if that was like Frank or Salmon or anybody except Karim Garcia but he had a good day so Next up is the Salmon Silver. Silver, man, these things are gorgeous. Very cool cards. 96 Finest was, was my jam for sure. They had this on point. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. And then the one, my favorite card, favorite card ever, Gold Refractor. Dun, dun, dun. First year they put up some gold refractors and they did it right. I got the Frank. My Frank has a print line, but it's I'm fine. It's okay. At least I tell myself I'm fine. This card is awesome. Look at that. Man, I would love to have this set. Love to have it. Um, another one that has the hulking and the fading issues, the 96 Tops Chrome. Um, I love this card. I love this set. I, I actually pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor. I think it was Wrecking Crew. Um, I bought a retail box, or not the whole box, like the rest of the packs. My mom let me buy the rest of the packs. There was like 10 packs. Um, I bought it at the pharmacy and I pulled a Ken Griffey Jr. Refractor. I called my, I, my, um, LCS down the street He's like an old man, like 70 years old, and I used to like go to his store every day. We would like ride our bikes up there. So I called him for every, I was like, his name was Dooley. I'd be like, Dooley, Dooley, guess what? I just pulled a King Griffey Jr. refractor. I was freaking out. He looked it up and told me what it was. I think it was 75 bucks at the time. Um, I, you know, I was thir 12, 12 going on 13, but I called him and freaked out. That was like my coolest thing of the week maybe the month um but i held on to it for a while i don't have it anymore but my lcs dealer heard all about it and so did my best buddy who coincidentally was named greg greg and greg we both collected cards he was a ray ordonez fan so it was easy to trade him all that stuff i collected frank 
and salmon. Next up is the 97 Bowman Best Atomic Refractor. These are cool. I know Tanner was showing his Jose off. I don't really, I think these are kind of faded and the shine's cool. Um, just not a huge fan of them. I like these a little more. The Bowman Chrome. This is the refractor. I actually put together this base set, not refractors, just the base set in 97. Um, I put it together on my own. I was 14, 13, going on 14 at that time. Um, I was buying singles. You know, I probably spent like $400 putting this set together. Um, and I sold it. Beckett had just come online on the internet. And I posted it up and somebody bought the set from me for like $250. So I, you know lost money as a 14 13 year old but it was really cool the experience was it was like the first set i ever put together and i completed i had them all in like those special card collector game plat like the ultra pro sleeves they weren't like penny sleeves they were a little thicker I had them all in there and then i had all the cool guys like travis lee carrie wood they were all in screw downs and i actually pulled the carrie wood international of this not the refractor just the international and that was like the week he struck out 20 so that card went through the roof i ended up selling it at a, at a card show that i set up at um because me and greg would always set up at the card shows we were like the only 12 year olds setting up um but i sold it um for a good price because carrie had just struck out 20 and everybody thought he was the next nolan ryan And to follow it up is the International Refractor. Beautiful cards. They show the, the flag, the home country or country of origin of the player. Um, obviously, Salmon is a United States guy, so they show the flag. Um, I like those cards a lot. Um, next up is the 97 Finest. I like the 96 a little better, but these are cool. I like the little profile pick right here. Um, to go along with action pose. Salmon had uh, bronze and silver. He did not have the gold, so he does not have a gold embossed. Unfortunately, otherwise I would go after that hard. Here's the silver. Cool card. Followed by the embossed refractor. The shine on these are a little, you know, it's not as colorful as the regular refractor, but the back has the, the atomic kind of embossed shine, I guess, which is cool. Um, this is a really neat card. It's got salmon right there, the best player. And then this catcher, I guess his name's Pizza, Pizza Man. Um, he delivers for Little Caesars or something. Um, but it is cool. I like it got two great players on it um, I think this is the 98 Bowman chrome reprint refractor uh, I'm always a sucker for reprints this is a cool card um, you can see the shine I think I got that for like a dollar it was totally worth it I'd do it again here is the 98 Bowman best refractor it's numbered to 400 right there 400 um, I like these these are pretty cool Look at all those salmon. It just keeps getting better. Some Beetlejuice. Um, so here's the Atomic. It's like the Cracked Ice. One of the first years I think they did Cracked Ice. I don't know that. I don't know of a set doing it before this. But look at that. Isn't that? It's like. I don't know. It's like he's at a rave and. A Christmas rave. Numbered to 100. 100. There's his brother, Tim Salmon. Also numbered to 100. Here's a 99 Finest. Um, no, I take that back. 98. 98 Finest. Sorry. This is a 98. 
Um, I would like to find the no peel, but if you'll notice, those no peel refractors have the same issue. They're like faded and hulked out. It's really, really bad for the um, no peel. I have yet to see a salmon no peel refractor that the whole part of him is not just like faded white. It's just so unattractive. It's hard for me to spend even it's like three bucks and I still can't bring myself to, to spend the money because it's just so jacked up looking. I just want a normal card. The 99 Bowman Best Refractor. I do not have the atomic of this. This is the 400. Still looking. Well, I guess I want them. these are not that spectacular, but I would like to get the atomic just as a completionist. 99 Bowman Chrome. Um, this is the International. Joe LaGreca actually sold this to me for six dollars, so he gave me a deal. Very cool card. It's got like a little mountain, yeah, mountain and some ocean right there. The 99 finest gold refractor. These do not fit in the Ultra Pro. You got to use a Pro mold to fit them in because of the deco edges. They extend a little farther, but this is a beauty. My eBay nemesis actually bid on this, and we shot this card up to $40 because we both wanted it, and I needed it more than him. Here's the 99 Tops Chrome refractor. These are very cool, very shiny, followed by my favorite of the 99, the Salmon Frank Justice Refractor. Look at that beauty. Again, my nemesis bit it up more than I wanted it to go, but I needed it more than him. So here we are. This is where I start to forget what year these are. Um, I'm going to say this is 2000 Bowman Bowman Chrome Retro Futures. Um, like it, he's in a little TV set. Very cool. 2000 Tops Chrome. I like this card. Uh, you know, kind of self-explanatory on these later ones. They're just refractors. They're cool. He's giving a fist bump to his buddy. Looks like a coach. Always good to fist bump your coach. Uh, I believe this is the 2001 Topps Chrome um, Retrofractor. That was the, they decided to call it a Retrofractor. Not sure why, um, but I am glad I have this. I know Retrofractors are kind of hard to find, so I'm excited to have that in my collection. And we got the 2002, I believe. Yes, 2002 Topps Chrome Black Refractor. These are numbered to 50. Um, I like these quite a bit. Um, but out of the two, it's not my favorite. My favorite is the gold, obviously. Always a sucker for gold refractors. But this thing, this thing is gorgeous. It's not numbered, um, but it is beautiful. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting your guy in this. I know uh, Danny just got the Billy Wagner. I convinced him to do that, so mission accomplished. That was my goal. Uh, this is the 2003, I believe, finest X gold X-Fractor. Um, I didn't even realize. I was going to buy this when I, somebody showed it off, and then I looked, and I was like, oh, I have this card. Um, it, it, it was uncirculated, but I took it out of the case because, as always, top scratch the heck out of the case um, and I'd rather have it just in my own case that's very beautiful and then finally the 2004 2004 tops chrome gold um, a very cool card as you can see I have a lot of Tim Salmon refractors so I was glad to show them off with you guys um, watch for my next video it's gonna be a lot more clear now that I'm using my phone you can see my face it's a lot better anyways guys i will see you later watch the podcast we're gonna have another good one coming up i missed the last one because of the storms um but i will see you guys on the next one